Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Colosseum Part 50. I'm a Anubis from Anubis' Let's Plays and also from CNC Productions. Where we last took off, we defeated a lot of trainers. Uh, some of them who we might have recognized from earlier in the game. And they want their revenge, but of course, we still wipe them out because they're annoying. Yeah, let's continue. Let's dodge you, nobody cares about you. Um, yeah, so what we're supposed to do is supposed to find a dude who has a schmickle and a ring. Yo, if it isn't Anubis, you've got guts to on appear after portraying Team Snagging. This is where it ends. I know you're here to wreck the snag machine like before. Okay, looks like we're versing this dude, it's Team Snagging Biden. I wonder if he has one of them, because that would be very coincidental. Oh, okay. That is very coincidental indeed. And because he has two schmickles, I'm going to guess he does have one of them. Alrighty then. Wow, that's a lot of Smeagles, mate. You must love Smeagles. Wow, that just proves that your Smeagles sucks. And you see now another Smeagle, which is 52. And then we went and brick breaked one of them. Okay, and then you send out Smeagol, which is 45, and I'm going to assume it's a Shadow Pokemon, because it is! Yep, there's Smeagol. There's one of them that we've been trying to find all this time. So, I believe I can do this fight without taking any damage at all. Don't believe me? Watch and learn, kiddies. Master Ball, switch. Okay, then you use Brick Break on that. Alrighty then. One shake, two shakes, three shakes, and victorious. Got you, little bugger. Okay, now choose Brick Break and take care of this last Smiggle. Fucking punch! And Smiggle's gone. Goodbye. I can just imagine him saying something like, My precious, or something like that. Because Smiggle sounds like. You know, Golem off of Lord of the Rings. They couldn't win, kaboom! It's like that YouTube poopo, he's like, kaboom! And it like blows up. I was going to knock you out, that paint. Then paint you lose a face with my smiggle. But I ended up on the receiving end of the paint. He painted the receiving end, people. Oh, hello you. Hello, hello, sexy. No, I'm joking. So it's Anubis, I'm guessing he would draw any about the rumors of the snag machine. You really think we could fix the snag machine? You that gullible? It was all an elaborate trap by Master Gonzap to suck you into coming. I believe I just got gullible stamped on my forehead. Ouch. Anyhow. Team Snagum Aradev, or Agrev, and it's down Marsh Stomp and Ship Tree. Dude, no. I, all I gotta say is no. You do not have Marsh Stomp, you have Mudkips. Mudkips are like the, you know, awesome thing around here. Not Marsh Stomps. Just, just get out. Just get out of here. Okay, so let's use Brick Break on Ship Tree. Please don't hit Hercules. Thank you. And let's take care of this Ship Tree. Goodbye. Sweet. Okay, so um, his next Pokemon is Marchoke, which should be pretty easy to take down. I'm hoping. Oh, goodbye, Houndoom. Okay, um, what will be a good Pokemon to take this down, I wonder? Probably Crikey, if anything. Okay, let's use Surf and let's use Mega Horn on Mushroom. Uh, decent. And that's awesome. But it still doesn't make it faint. Bam, Mega Horn to the face, Marshall. Okay. And Crikey's in a level, which is awesome, but guess what? 
Level 45, it is a Shadow Pokemon, of course, and it is none other than Ursa Rune! Yay, hooray! Woo! Okay, so use focus energy. You pump that muscle up, man! Okay, now let's go use a slash. No, actually, wait, no, 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 no. Yes, okay, now, um, let us try using a break, break on my choke. I'll be captured as nursery. So you can imagine how hard this would be without even using the Master Ball Sheet. Yeah, this would be actually really difficult. Um, yeah, <laughs> so. Best rings are victorious, and now let's take care of this bloody monster with a brick brick to the face. Goodbye. People, I believe we are done at this area. Yay! Hydro pump. Oh yeah. Okay, um. Oh, I had to sneeze, but I was gonna get rid of Rain Dance. I wasn't sure what I was gonna get rid of, but um, you know, I I said the combo I'd use with Fundargo a lot, but I haven't really. And if anything, I still have the TM. So, Master Gon's up. Give me a promotion. This requires a promotion. I can't say it. You know how to work that snag machine, all right? I don't like admitting it, but you beat me thoroughly. Later, chum. We have no time to work with you. Hi, email. Shadow Pokemon list. Hi, analyze some more Pokemon, man. For you, blah blah blah. Noctowl, Fluffy, Houndoom, Shuckle, Milk Tank, and Dillybird. Okay, so Shuckle is a Pokemon we need to catch. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. Believe it or not, Shuckle is. A really good Pokemon. You're probably like, no, it's not. It's like weak as all hell. True. I gotta admit, it is weak as all hell. But the fact is, is that its defense, like special and physical, is be beyond belief. To be honest, I mean, I think I have a level 80 or something. I can't remember. I have an 80 or something, Shuckle 90 or something, and it's got like 500 or 600 or something defense. Every level it gains against at least five to six defense like points. So imagine if you EV train that. That would be crazy amount. And it also learns an ability in fourth or fifth gen or whatever, which is called power swap or skill swap or whatever. Um, power swap, defense swap, whatever it is. Hold on. Um, here's Smingle. Pretty weak to be honest. And there's um, Ursaring, which is great physical beta. So um, yeah, as I was saying, it learns a move called power swap or guard swap, and that means you can swap your defense and your special defense to become attack and special attack so of course it can be one-shotted easily but if you have a Pokemon which can direct all the attacks towards it for example follow me and all that pretty much it will do a lot of damage also if you gave it abilities and that which made it go fast then yeah it, it can be really strong Smiggle. Oh, just a Smiggle. I mean Shuckle can what am I going on about okay so where are we supposed to go we got a D disc so where does this disc go? I wonder. Um, I'm probably gonna make this a short video, so when we go down to the place where we're supposed to Thank you, email. Where we're supposed to go, I will probably cut it off. Because I mean I've recorded seven videos and I'm sort of bookied at the minute. Who is this? Hi, it's Bit in the Under. I was taking photos the other day when I saw this guy with this amazing head. So I snapped him. He was singing this weird song, something about the Colosseum being his new place. Oh, hell no! He's going down? Well, people. I believe it's time to meet our little Mexican friend. Let us go down. Let us go down. Down the UFO. Why am I singing? I don't know. But what the heck. 
I wonder where it takes us. Whoa, what's this place? There's a sparkly on the floor. Sparkly, let's go pick it up. Steel teeth? You're probably wondering what you have to do with that. Well, follow me. Follow me, you little kids. We're not going to head in there just yet. Okay. Now let us go forward. Jeez, where is it? There it is. Okay, so let's go forward on the, uh, of course, the UFO. Now, you're probably like, hey, what do you have to do with those steel teeth? Huh? And what's the beneficiary of getting it? Well, um, I don't really know, to be honest. All I need to do is talk to this guy. Blah, 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 blah. I handed over steel teeth. Yeah, sure, why not? Hum, Pokemon Pikachu picked a peck of Pokeballs. Ah, oh, no more L. What are you talking about? Oh, I can finally talk normally again. You're a savior. Thank you for your kindness. Perhaps not much, but here, take this. Grave, you got another disc. Okay. So, you see that shiny little thing over there? Well, we're gonna get it. Yeah, that's all it does. It gives you the old disc and you get that thing over there. Okay, um, it's actually, i got to admit, a pretty good thing to have. Um, because, like I said, you're gonna need to purify a lot of Shadow Pokemon. And the options are, it's either A, wasting tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of hours in actually getting Shadow Gauge down. I have to think about that for a second. If I'm not mistaken with this item, if I'm not mistaken, Sorry, I just want to open with the music. <laughs> yes, I am not mistaken. Okay, it is an amulet coin. You're probably like, hey, it's a coin. And you wear it around your neck. Cool. Anyhow, the amulet coin gives you more money when you win in a Pokemon battle. And like I was saying with the sense or the Colin case, it costs money to buy that. So if you were to wear this per chance, and if you were to battle people per chance, and if you were to win per chance, you would win money per chance, and then you would be able to buy more stuff per chance. Um, yeah, so it's pretty good to have if you're going to be doing some random battles and all that. Nah, it's up to you. Um, anyhow, so let's head down. Let's let's find Mirror Bead. Because I want to talk with this dude and, you know, have another battle with him. Because his music's awesome. Okay. Uh, where are we supposed to go? Seriously, where are we meant to go? Ow! I just hit the door and it opened. What the hell? Dying. No air ventilation. Ah, oh, my god. Can't breathe. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Anyhow. The minor Colosseum is built on a former quarry. It's underground in every sense of the word. Sifus admins are filling their fangs for you. What? You guessed it, people. We're good at Sif admins. Oh, lordy. Oh, Jesus. Yes, that is the next part of the end game series. Best be prepared, people, because this is going to be a major long part. And I'm going to show every part of it. I have to, because this is based on the storyline. So, I'm going to cut the part here, because I'm hungry. And I've done like six or seven recordings already. So, I'm Nubis from Nubis Lost Place and also from CNC Productions. You've been watching Lost Place Pokemon Gold Scene. This is part 50. I will see you next time on part 51. Have a fantastic day, and goodbye.